everybody, my name is Chris Willif here. This is my vlog, best day ever today. On today's vlog, we're gonna talk books. I'm gonna review four books, well, not really a review, a very, very brief reflection because I'd like you to, to stay for the entire vlog and for the whole discussion. I will keep it as shortly, as short, as short as possible. So basically, I'm gonna tell you four things. I'm gonna tell you who the author is, the title of the book, the core message in the book, and the one line in the book that really, really struck me. Four core things I could stick to that made a difference in my life. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's go. The first book is by M. Scott Pick. It's, uh, I would imagine that some of you guys watching have already read this book. The book's called The Road Less Traveled. I read this book when I went to Rehab for the first time. That's kind of hard to, kind of hard to say. This book relates to, kind of relates to my past. It helped me to put my past into perspective. The striking quote from this book is in the first chapter. It's the first three words and the paragraph that and the paragraph that follows that. So it says, life is difficult and then goes on to explain. This is a great truth, one of the greatest truths. It is a great truth because once we truly see this truth, we transcend it. Once we truly know that life is difficult, once we truly understand and accept it, then life is no longer difficult. Because once it is accepted, the fact that life is difficult no longer matters. So essentially what all Scott Beck is saying is that once we can acknowledge that life is hard, the fact that it is hard no longer matters. Scott Pick. The second book is a book by Victor E. Frankel. I have referred to this book before. Uh, the name of the book is Man's Search for Meaning. This book is written by a man who is an Auschwitz Holocaust survivor. The most quotable quote for me in this book is, everything can be taken from a man but one thing the last of all human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's way. So what Viktor Frankl is saying is that we can't always choose our circumstances or the event or what happens to us, but we are free to choose our attitude to whatever happens, to whatever occurs. That we are free to decide what we're going to do with it and how we move forward and no longer remain a hostage of the past. This was a very important message for me and something I needed to get over in order to move on. Book number three. This is a book I started reading when I started becoming interested in mindfulness. It is a book called Awareness. It is written by Anthony de Mello and it is a combination of Eastern philosophy, Western psychology, a bit of spirituality, uh, some reality and a touch of humor. It's a great read. It's written in many short chapters, so two or three pages, which makes it an easy read. Keep next to the bed and read a two or three chapters a night. But for me, there's a very powerful, very powerful message in this book. The heading of this chapter is All is Right with the World. And Anthony de Mello goes on to say that there is no explanation you can give that would explain away all the suffering and evil and torture and destruction and hunger in the world. You'll never explain it. You can try gamely with your formulas, religion and otherwise, but you'll never explain it. Because life is a mystery, which means your thinking cannot make sense of it. For that you have to wake up and then you'll suddenly realize that reality is not problematic. You are the problem. This is one of the most powerful messages that I have read in, in the many books that I've read. And I had realized that if I make reality problematic, if I make everything outside of what I am and who I am problematic, I shall remain a hostage of reality. That if I wait for reality to change, I'm probably going to wait for a long time. That for my change to be dependent on change out there, is a terrible situation to get myself into. Book number four. This is a book written by Edith Eger. It's a book called The Choice. Edith Eger, like Viktor Frankl, is a Holocaust survivor. I decided to include this book because Viktor Frankl writes it from a professional's perspective. He was already, um, in, he was already a psychologist by the time he was in, in Auschwitz. Uh, Edith Eger writes it from a child's perspective, also from a female perspective. There are differences and similarities in both books. But I found that Edith's perspective from, uh, from a young child and a, and, and a woman does make a difference, or does deliver another a, a, a different message to Viktor Frankl's book. For me, the following is the most striking message in this book. Survivors don't have time to ask, why me? For survivors, the only relevant question is, what now? My interpretation of the way I experienced this, or the way I read this, is that Edith is saying, that we can dwell in the past all we like, we can remain a victim, or we can try and look at this differently and we can go, now what do I do with my experiences? How do I apply what I've learned in the past in order to move forward and to live well? Okay, 
that's my story for today. I've tried to keep it short. I don't think there's been a need for me to shove a banana in my mouth to shut up. This time I really have stuck to my word to keep things short. What I'll do is, I'll take the details of all four books and I'll stick it in the description below. Please go there and guys, these are really good reads, life-changing reads. I encourage you to go and pick them up. If you have any other suggestions, please put that in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and what else you think would be a good read with poignant messages or messages that could potentially help me or others to change an outlook in life that could make a difference to our quality of life or our happiness. Okay, so that's me for today, this beautiful Sunday. If you like, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel for notifications on other discussions and other talks. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.